it's being said now that uh, the so called parallel cinema alternative cinema that had started the new wave cinema is dying out because either most people are shifting towards commercial cinema or they've just kind of faded into oblivion what do you feel considering you're part of that well, movement it's very difficult to say the specific reason but what i feel that in the 70s or till early 80s there was a huge middle class audience for these films and they shifted to television for their own convenience because why no point of going to the theater again transport problem all these problems and you have a cinema all these channels here you can see watch movies you can watch program so they don't go more any more to the theaters so this kind of film lost a huge middle class audience at the same time also i should blame our own generation the filmmakers from certain kind of complacency i have made a film got some award that's the end of it but it's very important that you have to keep track with your people so most of the filmmakers are getting alienated from the masses which is dangerous uh so it's a two way traffic you know at the same time you know we need audience on the other hand filmmakers also give some effort to reach them but i'm not a pessimist so still i'm hopeful that this kind of films will come back come back uh, with with its very strong uh, elements will come back but how do you feel when you put all the effort into making a film for instance patang nobody got to know people don't know Terrible. gautam ghosh made the a film like that the first time it happened uh, in my career the film was not released because uh, one second gautam nikal do i it happened with patang because all my earlier films were released in bengal and elsewhere and they did well well means you know they recovered money from the box office and also in the process it's very important that unless it is released in the theaters you don't know your audience for the reaction of your audience it's you really can't judge it in a festival or in a special screening it's impossible or in television but in the case of patang i don't know what happened my producer is a rich man uh he thought who no point of going to the distributors and negotiating with them give it to television i'm very happy he got some money from foreign market and gave it to television but very unfortunate film was drastically edited in television it had a almost 10 cuts because film was given adult certificate and television needs something u a or u whatever i don't know but it was very badly cut at one point i switched it off because i couldn't follow my own narrative so it's very unfortunate in the case of patan but personally i feel that unless i release my films in the theater i really don't know what i have done well, how do you feel about films is getting shown so many of your contemporaries their films just get shown in festivals that's the end of it i mean that means that you know it's enough that i've got that's my films that's not enough shown. at all even for a filmmaker it's it's a cause because you know you are starting a new film without knowing the result of your earlier film it's not enough to get some reviews from your friends or in some festivals it has to be tested with your own audience i give a very interesting example from ray's film it suddenly came in my mind ray made a film called kanchan jonga in 1962 i think this is one of his masterpiece but kanchan jonga was not accepted by people of bengal in those days because film was much ahead of its time not even it was accepted well in europe because westerners thought no this is not the genre of ray this is the kind of film antonio should make and kind of thing it was not accepted but the same westerners in recent years they're sh- shouting and t- telling big things about kanchan jonga it is one of the greatest masterpieces ever made in the world they're also strange people you know it's so subjective but ray was not i'm sure he was quite upset that was his first color film without a strong narrative story it's only you know the film is only about few characters roaming around in the mall area of darjeeling and it, the film is about real time it was an experiment for ray but he never became cynical what he did he made his next film called obijan with a strong story and it was a hit so it's very important that all these important filmmakers they never 
sort of ignored their audience. 